Earlier we spoke about the growing trend of parents using technology as a method to cop out of actual parenting and we're continuing that very important and rather alarming or sobering conversation with our regular creator parenting expert Nikki Bush. So let's get serious for a second here. It is a serious discussion. Um, technology can be a wonderful aid in child's uh, children's development but there are some very very scary real dangers. What are some of those that stand out to you? That's right. So in my book, Tech Savvy Parenting, we talk about things like cyberbullying. We yeah. talk about sexting. We talk about children sending naked selfies. And, you know, when children are putting out inappropriate content like that, what they don't realize is the long-term potential ramifications yeah. of either reputational risk or what about if you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you've what shared a naked selfie? That, for, yeah. that can be used for extortion, blackmail, all sorts of things. And children need to be awake and aware from a very young age. Now, I used to only do digital safety workshops at schools from grade 6 and up. I'm now being called on to do those from grade 4 and up. And I'm telling you by next year it'll be grade 3 and up. Because children are getting hand-me-down cell phones from their parents, which are smartphones, internet-linked smartphones. And so we need to be very, very awake that the kind of things that we teach our children in the offline world, in the real world, how those to keep them safe in the yeah. real world, those principles still apply in the online world. Take, for example, teaching your children how to cross a busy road. Yeah. And all children in my safety workshops, we talk about, so what did your parents teach you? And they say, look left, look right, look left again. <laughs> and now our children are navigating the information superhighway. This has five lanes going this way and five <laughs> lanes going that way. And I hope that you have taught your children how to look left, right and left again, how not to catch lifts with strangers. This is a massive yeah. thing because there are mil millions and millions of strangers that can potentially interact with your children They also know the, the, the environment far better than you or yes. your child do. And then the other analogy is a shopping mall. We take our children to shopping malls from when they're really little. We teach them where it's safe and those dark, seedy corners to avoid. And we teach them what to do if they should get lost or you, you lose us. You never purposefully leave them alone. Exactly. And the third analogy is that if you were to give your child a two-wheeler bicycle, you would first give them fairy wheels, training wheels. When your children are first going onto social media, you need to give them training wheels. That means that you need to be with them, especially if they're under 13, which yeah. many of them are wanting to get onto Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook under 13 it's when they shouldn't be there. Yeah. So you need to let them maybe use your account and go with, along with them or have their own account as long as you are along with them for the first six or eight months while you are teaching them how to do it properly. Oh, I absolutely love that. Now, I'm just hoping my boy doesn't have the same natural tendency to drift towards things that, that he knew would get him into trouble. <laughs> that was almost part of the joy. Um, but there are lessons to be learned in terms of taking responsibility for ourselves and for our actions and what, what ultimately do we need to teach our children to be responsible for? We want them to be able to think on their own in this Absolutely. space. Absolutely. So going back to problem solving and, and looking after their reputation. So I say to children and to my own children, there are three things that you are responsible for forever. You have one mind. Whatever you feed it, whatever it hears or sees, it shapes who you are. So be careful what you watch and what you listen to. You have one body. Don't give away too many contact details and put your body in danger. No one's going to give you another one. And you have one reputation. So one mind, one body, one reputation. This is going to follow you for the rest of your life, online and offline. It's going to affect the careers you choose, who employs you. It's important stuff. And so... In any situation where a child is questioning should they do something online or offline, is it good for my mind, is it good for my body, is it good for my reputation? If you get a yes, 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 do it. Then if there's a no it. anywhere, don't. Oh, man, if you do a search for me on Google, it's going to be very difficult for me to be able to reinforce <laughs> these with my child. Um, no, it's, it's, it's raising some really interesting questions for me and vital, vital questions, I think, for every parent out there in the brave new digital world that we live in. But um, I would recommend, I'm certainly going to supplement with the book as well. Um, Nikki, awesome to connect with you. This was a little bit terrifying, yes, but also quite inspiring to know that we as parents can walk that path with our children, just apply the same knowledge that we know and we use in life online as well. It is just as real.